Welcome to my bed. My name is Chisum and today we're going to be talking about what's trending in my world. First thing that's trending in my world is patchwork plaid. I've always been a plaid girl. I love plaid. I love anything schoolgirl themed but I've really been attracted to patchwork plaid. Plaid that's a mix and a jumble of like multiple plaids on one piece. A designer that I've been seeing do this really really well is Chipova Lowena. So she makes these plaid midi and mini skirts that are like carabiner skirts. So they're attached by carabiners, the things people use on their like keychains and stuff. And it's really cool and it's really innovative. I think they're really beautiful. I've seen her work on a lot of celebrities and I just find it really, really interesting. I also want to mention the Unif block skirt, which is super, super cool. It's a long maxi skirt that's patchwork plaid as well. And it has all these different colors, brown plaid, green plaid, red plaid. And I think it's very visually interesting and like captivating to look at. And I would love to style it. I don't know why, but I've been really obsessed with chain mail, specifically chain mail headpieces. I just feel like they give off such like medieval cool vibes. Um, I think I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos, but the designer Paco Rabanne does a lot of work with chain mail and he made these chain mail bonnets that were really really sick and then there's also a designer that i've been following her work for about a year at this point on instagram her name is josie hinton she makes a lot of tops with chain mail she's a textile designer and she makes a lot of interesting chain mail pieces i think her work is really really cool and i do want to buy from her this year and then lastly i want to mention the brand it is known i've been following them on instagram they make these incredible chain mail pieces as well like chain mail halter tops they make these really really cool chain mail head pieces i first saw them or one of their pieces on Nina Lee. She was wearing a, like a chain mail headpiece that I thought was really, really cool. Their work is so like medieval inspired. And I don't know, I just think it's cool and just so different from things I've seen in the past. Duster cardigans. So any long type of cardigan. I recently got this duster cardigan off of Depop. It's like super long and it goes almost to my knees and it just ties in the front with these two little ties. Super cute. I just like how they look. I feel like they look super 90s. I want a black one as well. I just feel like they kind of add something, some interesting silhouettes to your outfit that you wouldn't normally get with a regular length cardigan. Anything that is uniform inspired. I think that's why I've been like so attracted to Sandy Liang. I wore uniform pretty much my whole life growing up. I went to private schools and I just love the plaid. I love the Mary Janes. I love the thigh high socks. I love any like button down collared shirt. I'm really looking into picking up like a Peter Pan collar like white shirt. I think that would be so precious with like a plaid pleated skirt or any regular pleated skirt. I recently got a pleated skirt in this gray color. Um, I feel like this is so uniform and that's why I was attracted to it. I also have this skirt which is also so uniform. I recently picked up this like long like knee length plaid skirt skirt that's like in this green color. I feel like this is kind of like kiltish but I feel like it's also very catholic school and I love this so much and I'm still like trying to figure out good ways to style it. A bell sleeve. I don't know what it is about like an exaggerated bell sleeve that I just love so so much and I have so many shirts like this. This one that I got off Depop it has like a flared sleeve. I don't know if it shows on camera but you can kind of see it and then this dress that i got off meshki recently also has this flared sleeve that i love so much i feel like it just adds something more i feel like there's a dramatic dramaticism when you're moving your hands and like talking and i think it just adds something to your outfit other than having like a regular boring sleeve and i also feel like it's very like goth inspired i feel like a lot of 
like what I consider my style to be is very all inspired. So I think that's also a reason why I like it so much. Cheetah print. I really, really like cheetah print. I've always liked cheetah print. I remember when I was in fourth grade and I got my first pair of cheetah print ballet flats. It's back and now just trending in general because of the whole like mob wife aesthetic. I think it's classic print. I don't really think it'll ever go out of style. Right now, the only cheetah print item that I own is these Uniflair pants that I really, really love. And I am looking into getting like a fur cheetah print jacket something vintage that I can wear for a long time. And then the last thing that is trending in my world, something that will forever and always be trending in my world are platform shoes. I cannot live without them. Pretty much all my shoes are platform shoes. I've posted like two platform collections on this channel. I just love anything platform. I love the height it gives you and I love how easy it is to walk around in them and not get uncomfortable because heels are really uncomfortable. Even though I am trying to wear heels more to be like more in my grown woman era. I love platforms. I will never not love platforms. This pair is one of my favorites. These are Demonias. I forget exactly which ones they're called but I'll put it up. I just love wearing these with skirts especially I don't know I just love how they look and you're not gonna see many people in these and I don't know I just love them but that is it for things that are trending in my world let me know what's trending in your world and see you in the next one bye